everybody, this is Christine. I am going to demonstrate how to draw blood from a center line. I'll first do it when you have an IV um, that's infusing, and then right afterwards in the same video, I'll just kind of be like, okay, hold for a second here, and now we'll draw from a different person that does not um, have IV fluids infusing in their line. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to look at your physician's order and say, does this make sense for the patient? I need to draw blood today, and it does. All right, so fine and dandy. I'm going to go ahead and grab all the supplies that I need, which I have prepared ahead of time, okay? So I am going to go ahead and walk to my patient's room. I'm going to go ahead and perform hand hygiene. Knock, knock, knock. Hi, Dan, my name is Christine. I am going to draw blood from your central line today, okay? He says, okay. All right, can you first just verify me, for me your name and date of birth? And he says, Dan Brown, date of birth, 75, 2007. Okay, perfect. You ma it matches your wristband there. So, doctor has ordered for some blood to be drawn from your central line. Have you ever had blood drawn from your central line before? He says, oh, yes, tons of times. I say, okay, so you know that there's really nothing to it. Um, you don't have to do any work. Basically, what I'm going to do is disconnect you from your IV fluids. Um, through a series of syringes being attached to your central line here, I'll draw blood for waste, I'll draw off the blood I'll send down to lab, and then I'll flush a little bit, and then I'll hook you back up to your IV line, okay? He says, all right, sounds good. Perfect. All right, so the first thing I want to do is put my IV pump on hold. I like to clamp mine as well. I'm going to go ahead and put on a pair of gloves. Next, what I need to do is go ahead and grab my, um, my sterile cap for my IV line. So I'll go ahead and I'll open this up and just kind of have it ready for me. Grab it back here. I'm going to make sure my center line is clamped. There we go. Disconnect here. My cap to my central line or to my IV line I should say so that's good to hang there because I've got a sterile cap on it all right so next what I need to do is I'm going to order a bunch of house bottles I'm going to be using plenty of those I'm going to get my stuff ready here I'm going to go ahead and open up my syringes I'm going to need a two 10 cc syringes first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the first one and this is just to draw back the blood that I'm going to waste because I want to clear whatever medication and stuff could be in that line. I've made sure all my other clamps are clamped as well before I start to do anything. And we're going to clean off the end of that line nice and good. I think I might have touched the end of that. I'm going to clean it one more time because my finger touched the end of that when I went to go grab my syringe. So clean it off real well. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my 10 cc syringe that is empty. Hook it on there. Go ahead and open up my clamp to my central line. And I'm gonna slowly pull back five to 10 ml of blood for my waist, depending on what my facility's policy is. Okay, next what I'm going to do is go ahead and clamp that central line again. Disconnect that waste syringe. I'll take care of this afterwards and put it in the appropriate receptacle. Otherwise, sometimes you will have lab at the bedside with you. Oops. Lab at the bedside with you, and you can hand that off to lab, and they will go ahead and dispose of it for you appropriately. So going to go back to cleaning the tip again. Anytime I take something off, put something to it again, I'm going to hit hold a few times on the clip here. I need to make sure that I clean off the end of my line real good. All right, so now this is my second empty 10 ml syringe here. This is going to be the one that I draw back my blood that I'm going to send down to lab with, okay? So I've hooked my syringe on there. I'm going to 
open up that clamp and then I'm going to draw back nice and slowly so I don't hemolyze the blood however much blood that I need to fill the orders that the physician put in okay He's only put a couple orders for a couple things in. I've only got a couple tubes I need to fill. So I called lab and they told me eight should be plenty. Otherwise, I have lab here and she says eight mLs is plenty. Okay, okay. So before I disconnect that syringe, I want to go ahead and clamp that line again. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the syringe. If I'm by myself, I will go ahead and invert this a few times just to be on the safe side. I'll grab one of my... Um, empty containers and just kind of set it in there for a minute until I'm ready with my other stuff to go ahead and um, take care of putting it in the appropriate tube. So next what I need to do is grab my alcohol swab. Again, I'm going to clean off the end of that port real good. And what I need to do now is grab my um, 3 ml syringe, or I should say 10 ml syringe with my 3 cc's of normal saline in it. And I need to flush this line, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take that cap off. I've cleaned it off real well. Connect my 3 mLs of saline. Open up that line. And I'm going to go ahead and pulse flush just to create a little bit of turbulence in that line to make sure it gets anything that could be, you know, kind of in that tube um, pushed on through. So going to go ahead and clamp my line again. In case you haven't noticed, every time that you um, take anything away from this, you want to make sure that you're clamping your line because um, think of it this way. If this end cap ends up coming off for whatever reason, say when you're twisting, you accidentally twist up here as well, um, by keeping it clamped, it helps prevent like air embolism and things like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and twist off my flush syringe. I'm going to have to go back to my IV tubing here. I need another alcohol swab. I'm going to go ahead and clean off the end of my central line. There we go. Twist off that end cap and flip it back on, right? Make sure I open up that port. same steps, right? I'm going to go ahead and attach the blood connector on here. So then I grab my tubes, making sure I go in the right order, and I let the tubes then exhaust their vacuum as it pulls the blood out. Okay, and I'm going to do that until all of them are done. So that is how you draw blood from a central line when you have an IV infusing. Like I said, I'll take care of this appropriate too. So I'm going to put this stuff aside because right away I'm going to show you as well how to draw blood when you have a central line that does not have anything in view. Let's get this stuff out of our way here. All right. So let's see. We can't draw from this port because he's got something infusing that... Um, we don't want to be mixed. Let me just change my gloves real quick here. It's kind of an odd situation. So um, he's got something going in this line here. And we're not going to draw from this port, but instead I'm going to draw from one of the other ports. Let's say that. So this one has been heparin locked, okay? So I come into my patient room. Again, I introduce myself. I double identify my patient. He says his name and date of birth. Good. So Dan, it's been ordered for you to have blood drawn from your, um, your central line. Since you have this running in over here, I'm just going to use one of your other ports, okay? He says, okay. So what I need to do is, whenever somebody's got more than one line, I have to make sure all of the lines, when I draw blood from that one particular one, all the other lines are clamped as well, okay? So like I said, I put my IV on hold over here. I'm going to clamp this tubing. I'm going to go ahead and lock this for now, okay? That's not the focus of this. Um, dry blood without an IV running, 
But let's say you come across a situation, this would be what you do. So that line is clamped here, the other line is clamped, and right now this one is clamped because it doesn't have anything going in. So perfect. I performed hand hygiene. I've gotten all my supplies together. I'm going to grab my pair of gloves. And I'm going to come on over here. And just open these up so that they are ready to go. Again, lots of alcohol swabs, okay? So, like I said, I'm going to draw for the blue port first, or I should say blue port, blue port this time. I'm going to go ahead and clean off the end really good. I'm going to hook up my first empty 10cc syringe. Through that port. I'm going to go ahead and unclamp that line and I'm going to go ahead and pull back the waste of 5 to 10 ml of blood. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and clamp my line before I take my syringe off. And I get rid of this appropriately or hand it off to lab and lab will get rid of that waste for me. Next what I'm going to do is grab my next 10 ml syringe that is currently empty, which I'm going to use to fill with the blood that I'm going to send down to lab, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and clean off the end of this port really well. up my 10 cc syringe, unclamp that line, and I'm going to pull back nice and slowly again so the blood doesn't hemolyze the amount of blood that I need to be able to fill the order the physician has put in for lab to do their tests. Lab says that should be enough. I say okay. So, gonna go back and clamp the line again. Unscrew my syringe. I'll hand it off to Lab, and they'll take care of putting it in the tubes for me. Okay. Next, what we need? I've got two more syringes. The next thing I need to do. Since this line is going to be um, clamped again, where I don't have any IV fluids running in, I need to flush my line real well and I need to heparinize it. So I have a 10 ml syringe filled with 10 ml of saline for this one because again, I want to flush it really good. This one's tight. Let's see if I can get that little bit of air bubble out of there. on there, unclamp, and I'm going to go ahead and pulse flush that through. Go ahead and clamp your line again, unhook your syringe, I'm going to alcohol swab again. And the next syringe I'm going to hook up is my heparin. And it is a 10 ml syringe, um, 10 units per ml. I'm going to flush with 3 ml, so 30 units. So make sure whenever you're working with a line that you know um, the appropriate um, dose of concentration that you're giving this according to the situation. So I'm going to go ahead. And again, give that three ml of heparin. Good to clamp the line then. And 
disconnect. Now, since I clamped my other lines, what I need to do is, since this still needs to be resuming, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and resume that other line so it can keep doing what it needs to. But that would be how you would draw blood from a, a central line that does not have IV fluids in it.